Hello and welcome to Glorified Gutsy Gaming. I am Jake and today we are unboxing a new Kickstarter I received called Empyron Hero, the card game. They gave us a nice thank you note and card with their website and whatnot. This is the cover. Nice and white. I'm a sucker for, for white boxes and games. Uh, it's by Anthem Creations. Made in the USA. So let's go ahead and start. Came off nice and easy. It's the instructions that were hooked to the top of the box here. Here are the instructions. The objective is to defeat all opponent's sky bases. You're going to be recruiting heroes, enhancing them with new stats and abilities, and work to build an engine that can pierce opposing forces for the win. Pardon my roommate's dog. So, a lot of playtime and everything in here. Let's see what the back side has. A section for the lore and different game modes and some credits. Overall looks nice and big. And then we've got our decks of cards. Go ahead and pull those out. Again. We go ahead. Right, so like I was saying, we've got our two decks of cards. Got our little reminder cards with the turn summary. Choose one of four actions. You can heal, enhance, recruit, overcome. Overcome ties favor to offense. Recruit, recruit up to two heroes. Two heroes from hero HQ or reserves or one of each. Two, refill hero HQ and done. Enhance lets you draw, heal lets you heal some stuff. And then on the back, we've got heroic feats and abilities. And then a passive ability. Hmm. Heroic feats include placing into your discard pile to use, replaces an entire turn, cannot use any actions or abilities before or after a feat. Abilities attached to heroes to use. Use once on each of your turns cannot be used with turn to displays on the field. So we've got a handful of these. And then we've got some cards here that I think they look pretty nice. All have the same back. Looks like a defensive stat for 20. We got a bunch of those. Oops. Now we've got 30. Attack 20. I'm assuming we'll see an attack 30 as well. Yep, there's the attack 30. And that's basically all of those. And then this is our sky bases and such. Our HQ. <laughs> Sky base Golden Splendor arises in the north. It's got a hundred defense, zero attack. Same backing as the other cards, as you can see. Uh, sky base. The wonder of ancient days will not be forgotten. The same stats. Out of fire, glory is revealed. These all have the same stats, so nobody is uh, ahead. A voice of majesty speaks to the tempest. And it's the same one, repeat. And then we've got a couple repeats of the other ones. And then we've got some heroes. 
We've got pronunciation help up here, it looks like. Maybe. I'll have to read the instructions maybe to see what that is. Uh, but 90 attack, no defense. After an action, fatigue one of your heroes to recruit one hero to your play area from the reserves. Zhao. Oh. Okay, I don't know what that is, but that's in English. It says time to jumpstart this fallen world. His attack is 70 and he's got 20 defense. Allied heroes may gain plus 10 attack while Zhao is in play. When Zhao is defeated slash removed, play a card onto the field. Yumi, the river will meet all your needs. 40 attack, 50 defense. Whenever a hero is recruited, you may draw a card from your enchantment deck. Dina wanted to join me. We've got Ignatia, a 20 attack, 70 defense. <laughs> Jeez. You are capable of greatness, capable of shifting the course of history, capable of bringing life to the dead. Ignatia may attack once per turn while fatigued. This cannot be combined with any other attack. All right, so fatigue doesn't bother her as much. So these are all unique. There's a lot in here. These are very nice cards, by the way. They're nice and thick. And then we've got some feet cards here at the end. So I'll, uh, I'll just continue working through it. Hindra, 70 attack, 20 defense. Choose one opponent to prevent from playing ability cards to the field on their next turn. Okay. K, 50 attack, 40 defense. Play a card to the field. Izumi, 10 attack, 80 defense. Allied heroes may gain plus 20 defense while Izumi is in play. Fatigued heroes gain this after the defense is halved. Origin, 80 attack, 10 defense. During each opponent's turn, you may block one attack against Origin. Yasmin, 60 attack, 30 defense. When an attack against Yasmin is resolved, you may play a card to the field. Zo, before performing an action, heal any heroes of your choice. I'm going to stop with the attack and defense. I think you can probably see those fairly well. When a Kyo causes another hero to be fatigued, a Kyo is not fatigued. Okay. For each card in your hand, Bolos gains plus 10 defense. So that's pretty, pretty strong offense he's got there, and then if you could hold some cards in your hand, that might be pretty, pretty good. Kristoff. When an attack against Kristoff is resolved, you may choose one of the attacking heroes to be defeated. Eng. After an action, heal one hero. Gambito. When any hero is fatigued, all players must discard a random card. Grit. Grit may gain plus 20 attack for every fatigued hero. That could be a good combo with, with something else. Michael, draw a card from your enhanced enchantment and enhancement deck. Excuse me. Rowan, for every two fatigued heroes, recruit one hero from hero HQ or reserves to your hand. Isaac. When another hero is defeated, you may draw a card from your discard pile that was there before the hero was defeated. Mace. You may double the total attack for one attack that occurs on your turn. That could be pretty devastating. And then we've got our feet cards. Under Siege, target opponent reveals their hand and discards all non-hero cards. Drain. Discard all of one opponent's enhancement cards from the field. Pay the cost. Fatigue one hero. That's in your play area to remove one hero from the field. Absorb. Discard the enhancements, if any, from any one hero. Then replace with those from another hero. 
Resurrect. When this hero is defeated, you may return this hero to play under your control in a strengthened position with no enhancements. So now we're in ability cards. Accelerate. Target player draws three cards from their enhancement deck, then discards two from their hand. Reduction. Fatigue one of your heroes to cause any player to discard two random cards from their hand. Countermeasures. When attacked, this hero may combine its own total defense with the defense of the attacking heroes, excluding their enhancements. Shielding. If fatigued, this hero may gain plus 20 defense for every strengthened hero. This bonus is added after the total defense is halved. Prevention. If this hero is attacked, you may discard this ability to block the attack and all other attacks against your heroes until the start of your next turn. Collateral damage. If this hero is used to defeat a hero, you may determine one other hero to be fatigued. Hardened. For every opposing card on the field, this hero may gain plus 10 defense. Fortification. For every hero on the field, this hero may gain plus 10 defense. Kairos. Discard this hero to recruit up to two heroes from the reserve straight to the play area. Bless you. Bless you. Boost. Discard two cards from your hand to choose one player who must draw one card from every hero on the field. Going nuclear. When this hero is attacked, all cards on the field, including this one, must be removed except for sky bases. Bolster. For every strengthened hero, this hero may gain plus 10 attack. Almost missed one. Drought. When a historic, a heroic feat is used, you may discard this card to nullify its effects. The affected player may still take an action, but cannot use any abilities this turn. Impede. You may prevent the effects of one active ability per opponent's turn. Convert. When this hero is defeated, you may take control of any hero, moving it to your play area. Discarding all of its enhancements. If fatigued, the hero must stay that way. Protect. If another hero is attacked, you may prevent damage done to that hero until the end of the current player's turn. Revelation. View one opponent's hand and discard any one card from their hand. Backfire. Target opponent reveals all of their abilities on the field. You may use one of the active abilities as if it was your own regardless of timing. Reinforcement. For every card in your hand, this hero may gain plus 10 attack. And that is all of our abilities. Uh, I'm just going to read the back here. Uh, Playtime is supposed to run 45 to 60 minutes, 2 to 4 players, 14 plus. A standalone card game where destiny meets decision. Build a team of elect heroes, draft powerful abilities, compete in the skies of tempo, outwit your opponents, pierce their defenses, and seize the surprise win. But choose your team carefully because no two games are the same. And then it's got a KS1, so I'm assuming that means first print Kickstarter. And that is all, so thanks for watching.